Good morning. It is Sunday morning and poor Arthur. He is not feeling so great today. These teeth are really coming in. He hasn't wanted to eat, been taking short naps. So I think hopefully they're going to actually show up soon because I've been saying for months that he's been eating. So we'll see how this goes. And unfortunately, um, he woke up at 4.45 to eat, and I was not able to get back to sleep since then. But there's coffee, there's books, and um, and he's very cute. So there's that. So yeah, um, Dave and Peter have gone to church, and I just saw Arthur's really not feeling well today. And he has trouble sleeping while we're out, so I just thought the kind thing to do was to let him have a nice at-home day, and he can doze when he feels like it. Uh, but I have been rather productive this morning. I went ahead and um, I looked, I listened to almost a whole chapter of Gone with the Wind, which I'm going to be reading with Stephanie from That's What She Read this month. It's a reread for me. It's been about seven years since I read it and I'm very excited. Uh, and so we're going to try for two chapters a day and finish it in the month. Um, and we'll see if it happens. But I'm, I'm hopeful right now. We'll see what we see. Uh, also wrote down all the books I'm hoping to finish in July, which I will list off rapid fire in a moment, but it's kind of a ridiculous list, but one can, a person can dream, right? And then I also have just taken advantage of Arthur's brief nap and I'm working on taking a bookstagram profile picture. I just have one of a book. So I wanted to have, you know, one where people can see my face. Um, so yes, it's been a productive morning and I still, even though I'm pretty tired, I still am feeling lots of bookish energy and just excitement for the new reading month and a full month where hopefully I'll, you know, vlog and document it. So rapid fire, the list is The Silver Chair, which I'm reading with Katie from Life Between Words. We've been reading through the Narnia series and it's very fun. Reading the Maisie Dobbs, an incomplete revenge audiobook. Uh, Curtsies and Conspiracies, the Gail Carriger book. I have now the audiobook and the physical book. Then The 39 Steps, which is very short. I have it from the library. It's due Friday, along with The Demon Summer, which is the next in the Max Tudor Cozy Mystery series about the former MI5 agent turned vicar. And I want to read it in the summertime. Finish up the last few chapters of The Monster in the Box. Uh, Read Furthermore, which I have the physical book checked out from the library, and Doris from Aldi Books said it was whimsical, and she is so right. It is just full of whimsy and charm, and I love, I've loved the first few chapters that I've read, so it's definitely a priority, and it would be quick reading because it is short. I do have the Book of Speculation checked out. It's like the, the book for book lovers about the circus. Hopefully I can get to that, and I also have Horror Store. Uh, which Stephanie from That's What She Read recommended to me. And I would like to try some more horror. Um, I mean, as long as it's not too intense, I think I could be into it if the writing is good. I think genre writing gets a bad rep on booktube, but I think it could be really fun. Um, and I really enjoyed the chapter that I've done. Uh, and then I have one that was on the Modern Mrs. Darcy's summer reading list, Auntie Poldy and the Sicilian Lions. And it's just a really fun, summer cozy taking place in uh, the Mediterranean, which just sounds really fun. Uh, I'll show, I'll put the cover up eventually um, and you can see it just looks like such a summer read. So I have that for 13 more days on my phone. Um, then Desperate Remedies, I'm gonna keep working on that. I'd like to have it finished by the end of the month. Uh, Missing Joseph, oh, I'm so happy to have said those words. It's the next in the Lindley Mysteries and Kate from the novel Nomad and I just adore this series and it's the next one in the series. and. We take so long and we're like never in sync when we read them. So I've decided this time I'm gonna make like my own personal video for Kate with all my observations after each chapter because we finished several months apart. Um, and at that point I couldn't really remember. So I think it'll be really fun to do that and immerse myself in the books even more. The Beast's Garden, which was a gift from Kate and it's historical fiction that's also a retelling of Beauty and the Beast set during um, World War II. This Rough Magic, which is this month's Mary Stewart read, not happening until next week though. Um, the House Without a Key, that's the uh, Hawaiian uh, mystery. There's a whole series and I can't remember the investigator's name. Uh, then The Brandons by Angela Thurkle. It's been over a year. It's time for some Angela Thurkle. 
This is also kind of my summer TBR, I guess. I've been thinking Small Island, which I wanted to read last summer. I love the BBC adaptation of it. It's mainly about Jamaican immigrants in World War II era England. Uh, the Exiles Return by Elizabeth DeWall. This was a book that Susan Hill recommended, and it's about Austria after World War II. The Fleet Street Murders, which later in the month I'm so excited for. It's a buddy read with Kate from the novel Nomad, and uh, it is in the Charles Lennox Victorian Mystery Series. He is, uh, you know, a society uh, gentleman, and this is the third in the series, and we've really liked this series. And then A Town Like Alice by Neville Shute. I will also be buddy reading this with Kate from the novel Nomad. We met to buddy read it last summer, but then I had my royal reading slump. So those are my July goals. Uh, later on, when I have some free time, I'm going to write down the week's reading goals, and I will let you know what those are. I'm going to sign off for now, and I think hopefully he will eat some. We shall see. So um, since I am home and have time, the crock pot meal I forgot to put in the crock pot can now go on the stove, which is really nice. I, it's like so silly because it was a frozen meal. Um, but a lovely friend does food prep workshops where they're like, you um, chop them up and everything and then they're frozen. You can put them in the crock pot. It's like such a smart idea. And since I had a baby this year, she has given me a fair number of these. And this looks really good. It's turkey, white bean, and kale soup. And we have a bunch of uh, like a half bag of spinach that I didn't use all of last week. So I think I'll toss that in with it as well. And then watching some book two, Brian's Bookshelves June wrap up. If you have not watched Brian's channel, you should. And then I'm going to have a little snack because we're going to eat lunch kind of late. Um, this is a very sad looking peach. So I don't know if any of it is edible, but I'll try. And if not, then I'll just eat this peach. And then these Triscuits. Oh, they're so good. Cracked pepper and olive oil. So yummy. So after I finish Brian's June rack up, wrap up, I will finish up my Gone with the Wind chapters. Good morning. It is Monday morning and I am determined this July reading vlog to document my reading progress a little bit less. I over documented and I've cut out so far like 40 minutes of me just talking about like micro updating on what I'm reading. So I think I'll just do, you know, shorter updates. So I just told you the ones I wanted to read for the month, and I'll just tell you today's goals that include those library books that are due on Friday. So I'm going to try. Um, ideally, I could finish this in a day, but I don't think that's going to happen. But uh, Curtsies and Conspiracies by Gail Carriker, book two in the um, Finishing School series. It's like steampunk. It's really fun, ironic sense of humor, and um, I'm really enjoying it. It's really quick reading. It won't be hard. And then today, I would like to finish the Maisie Dobbs audiobook. Uh, and so we'll see if I do, but it's going to expire, I think, tomorrow sometime, or maybe the day after tomorrow. Anyhow, very soon. So I really want to get through that because I do like it. And then I started yesterday. I told you about that gone with the wind so but then I got really bad sleep so I was not able to stay up and finish the second chapter I got like sidetracked during the day with other stuff uh, so I'm hoping then that today I can finish chapter number two and read the next two chapters and the first chapter I was thinking like feeling kind of overwhelmed by how long it was but as soon as I got into the second chapter um, and it is more of Scarlett's inner dialogue. She is the most fascinating and like least likable protagonist. So definitely excited about this book now that I'm into the second chapter and there's more of her talking and plotting and scheming like she does. Uh, yeah, so those are my goals for the day and I'll let you know how it goes. It's a quiet at home day. We did some fun with beads and it's movie day. So Peter is watching Robin Hood and uh, it's very, very hot outside. This is a scorcher week, so it's 
really fun that I started Gone with the Wind this week. We will not be going outside at all this week. It's just too hot for the baby. So I think we'll be doing some library trips though. So there's definitely an upside of that. I will check in later and let you know how it goes. That's the royal coach. Prince John and Prince. Wait a minute, there's a law against Robin Royal. Objects you later. What? Has the state chance to perform before royal day? <laughs> It is now afternoon and I have been just, uh, I took one picture for Bookstagram and um, doing laundry, cleaning up the kitchen, all that good stuff because I've been listening to the Maisie Dobbs audiobook. It's so good. I think I'll be able to finish it today and I just wanted to show you for about the past, I don't know, two months, I've kept all our veggie scraps and put them in the freezer. This is my first time attempting a veggie stock because later this week I'm making the uh, Smitten Kitchen's split pea soup that's supposed to be really good. And we have tons of dried split peas that we bought in bulk. So I'd love to make them tasty. Um, and this recipe looks really great. So I'm trying to make homemade stock for the recipe and um, it's just all the veggie scraps. Now it is my first vegetable stock and apparently you are not supposed to put um, green beans or Brussels sprouts in it, but I already put the scraps in like it's, you know, too late. So we'll see how it goes. Cause I just, I didn't look up the recipe until after, but threw in a bunch of parsley, they said, and a bay leaf and a little bit of thyme you could see on the edge there. And I put in the last minute carrot scraps. Um, cause we're going to roast carrots and Brussels sprouts with our supper tonight. So this has to boil for an hour and then I'm going to make the soup tomorrow, but I'll obviously taste test the broth. And I mean, if it's awful, we won't use it, but hopefully it's delicious. Um, yeah, so we'll see how it goes. So tonight with our roast vegetables, we are having chicken thighs. And let me tell you, bone in, skin on chicken thighs. It's like impossible to ruin them. They're so delicious. What I do is just a little bit of olive oil and salt and pepper, put them in at 350 for 90 minutes, and it's so good. So it is now Tuesday afternoon, and I am working on, oh, there's Arthur's Tylenol. Um, I am working on a, that split pea soup recipe. So the stock was not very flavorful, but after we boiled it down, it seemed to be. Um, so hopefully it works for the soup right now. We think it's going to, um, and a confession, this is my first time ever working with leeks. I have just, I've never cooked with them, but they really appeal to me because in our little apartment, there's not much circulation. And the last couple of times I've cooked with onions, um, it just is so strong and our eyes are all burning. So I feel like leeks, even though they aren't quite as flavorful from what I'm told, they have a similar flavor. So I'm really excited and they're just so pretty. They're such pretty vegetables. Um, so I'm looking forward to cooking with these. And then there's also some celery that you need and carrots and I'm starting a new vegetable scrap bag that I'll put in the freezer. Um, so yeah. I will keep you posted on the progress of this. And also, it's so nice and cozy. It's rainy out. I'm having some Earl Grey tea. Arthur is in his exer-saucer. Are you in your exer-saucer? Yeah. Um, and I'm listening to the Tea and Tattle podcast on their favorite Persephone books. So I'm way behind. Like, I found out about this, you know, way into it. So it's really a treat to go through all the backlog. Um, have not made hardly any progress with reading. It was just not a good focus day for me yesterday, which is okay because I try to think about my reading in terms of the month as opposed to the week, the day, or even the week because a lot of times I'll just have a bad week, but I'll still have a great reading month. So I think it's good to keep that in mind. And um, after I do finish the Persephone episode, I will be continuing with Maisie Dobbs. I was not able to finish it on time. Thankfully, thankfully, it was on Hoopla. I really was enjoying it, um, but I just burned out with reading. So last night, my husband and I watched a Jeeves and Wooster episode, and um, it was really nice. So yeah, hopefully I can finish it today and um, just be a little behind on Gone with the Wind, and that's okay. Arthur's thinking about crawling. 
This is crazy because he's only five months, but he really wants that block. And he's been scooching his legs up trying to get to it, but he can't figure out quite how to do it. Peter, what are you doing this morning? I'm making a chalk. Yeah. You're doing chalk and water on the chalkboard? Pretty fun. Look who's up from their nap. Hi. Hi, buddy. So sweet. So sweet, your little walrus shirt. So, it is, um, just this week is, I'm hoping it turns around for reading, and I think today it could. I think part of the problem now is this last Maisie Dobbs, um, an unfinished revenge has been kind of a low point in the series. And I think I remember Mel from Mel's Bookland Adventure. Maybe she didn't like this one as much. I can't quite remember, but I just have like 45 minutes left of it. And all I want to be doing is reading Gone with the Wind and um, Curtsies and Conspiracies. So I'm really, I'm looking forward to being done with this one. I mean, I think in a long mystery series, you're not going to love all of them. And like I said, I mean, it's not awful, but I just keep not being finished with it and not terribly enthused. So yeah, I'm going to buckle down and um, I don't think Peter's going to be down for a little bit. So I think I'll be able to listen to the rest of it. So looking forward to just charging through that and then getting to do the reading that I'm really pumped about and excited about right now. Good morning. It is Friday morning and this has been a week of not much vlogging at all, simply because we really haven't gone anywhere. It's been so hot. It's just not safe to go out with the baby. Um, and yeah, it just hasn't, you know, been much to show on that front, not much to show on the reading front. Um, I am happy to report though, that Thursday was a fabulous, fabulous reading day. Yesterday, I read two more chapters of Desperate Remedies and I am enjoying this book so much. It's so unique to any other book I've ever read. Even the sensation novels I've read, The Moonstone, um, The Woman in White, Lady Audley's Secret, Armadale, um, Great Expectations, I think counts as one. So different and unique and fun. And I have no idea, positively no idea what's going to happen. So I'm very careful when I want to see the end notes to not peek at any of the chapters. I like avert my eyes until I know I've gotten to the end notes. Um, I'm really excited about that. I think I'm happy continuing just doing a couple chapters each day. Maybe at like the last hundred pages, I'll, I'll uh, binge it, but I'm only a hundred pages in. And then curtsies and conspiracies. I listened to some audiobook yesterday. It's so fun. I just, there's nothing like some good old, you know, YA. It's, it's really fun. So I'm thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying it. And, um, I, you know, I wanted to finish that by Tuesday. That didn't happen, but it is what it is. I have the ebook checked out and the audio book. That one is due back at the library tomorrow, unfortunately. And then gone with the wind. Oh, I got so intimidated because I was already behind at the very beginning of the buddy read. It got to Wednesday and I had, I was already like six chapters behind but Wednesday night, I just started listening to the audiobook. You know, I was in the middle of chapter two. Started listening to the audiobook. And then Thursday morning, I made Play Doh for Peter, which is super easy. It's just because um, our, our, the other Play Doh that we had the, um, that I had made, it was several months old and it was starting to get sticky. You know how Play Doh gets. So it's just oil, water, salt, and cream of tar tartar and flour. And it's just so simple. And so he won a bright green Play-Doh. So we made that. Um, and I sat there and read more. And I think I eased, I think I read around 75 pages, like no problem yesterday. I've gone with the wind. And I've forgotten. The reading just comes so easily, even though it's long. It's so dynamic. Scarlett O'Hara is the most like unlikable but fascinating protagonist she's just a terrible person but she's just jumps off the page and is such a fascinating character um i'm really excited about this book when i got so behind i was really intimidated but it's super fun because i'm buddy reading it with stephanie from that's what she read and she's enjoying it so so much as well um so i'm really looking forward to continuing on with that 
Um, it is a little bit cooler today, but rainy. So I don't think the park is an option, but we might go to the library. The one that that book is, uh, is due back at. What are you doing, Peter? Doing homework. You're doing homework. What do you have to do for your homework? I have to do tons of things that I don't want to steal it. Oh, tons of things that you don't want to share it. You're just too busy. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, get to work on your homework. So we had a change of plans today because I realized this week the circus trains were at the Arboretum and every other day it was too hot and today it's overcast, it might rain, but I thought we could risk it because we really want to see the circus train song. Can I run? Go for it. So we're going to make a beeline for the trains and come back to all the other cool things. This is like one of my most favorite places. It's just so beautiful, especially when you live in the city. Getting just a big piece of nature like this just feels amazing.